what's new with Backpack V2? First thing was we had a lot of feedback that our rack compartment back here was too tight for three rackets. Three rackets did fit, but yes, admittedly it was tight. So we actually made this back compartment here deeper, allowing three rackets to fit a lot easier. Open up here, there's more space here for three rackets to easily go in and out. In addition to that, we now have three separate panels in the back to protect the racket heads from hitting each other and scratching each other. The next thing I wanna show you is the cape. What we learned in the very beginning of V1 was that a lot of people wanted to protect their handles with a cape or something, but a lot of people didn't care to either. They like their handles, they can stick out, no big deal. We made the cape detachable. And the way it works is you have these clips here that attach into a loop um, and you have four of them and it's easy to take them in and out. So you have your rack in here and the cape goes right on top just like that for secure protection, but also easy removal and installation. The next thing I wanna talk about is the new toiletry pocket. This is probably my favorite new feature of V2. And this toiletry pocket allows you to keep all your kind of messy gear, sunscreen, lotion, makeup, things like that, nice and protected and easy to clean up in this new pocket. So it's lined with white polyfilm here that's easy to clean. Um, and you can stow it away nice and separate. I use this all the time. I bring a bunch of sunscreen for myself and my family. Little kids go through a lot of sunscreen. The next thing I wanna show it's a bit of a secret, it's the secret pocket. And we actually improved where it is. So the secret pocket is now back here and it's, it's pretty hidden. Unless you really dig in there, you see this little zipper and you can unzip it and put a credit card or cash or anything in there. But it's quite discreet and we actually took it away from this side panel here to have it here in a more discreet, more secure place when you're wearing it where no one can really, no one can really get to it. So, and boom, a side handle. Um, believe it or not, this is probably the number one thing that people ask for. It makes this bag a lot more maneuverable, make it easier to bring into the car, on a plane, etc. Um, in fact, this is TSA compliant, and I take it on a lot of trips. I put my packing cubes, which is also compatible on V2. Also, instead of two hooks, we, uh, instead of one hook, sorry, we have two hooks. And these two hooks make it a lot easier for you to hang on a fence when you're out and about, or even hang in a hotel room if you're traveling. Um, we had one before, and a lot of people wanted more support and more uh, just stability. So we added an extra hook. One last thing I wanna show you is the shoe compartment with the sweat ledge. So this is on V1, but we actually improved it by adding a bit more tautness here to ensure that this part of the bag doesn't interfere with the shoes going in. There's a lot of feedback we got around making, lot, making it easy to put the shoes in while keeping the dirty, sweaty clothes up top and having the ventilation holes here, the vents here to let the, all that stink go out. So another nice little feature to make sure that you and your bag stay nice and non-stinky. Those are the new features of Backpack V2. Make sure to check out all the other features of the backpack. I just showed you what's new in V2, but there's tons of organization features. Um, I go pretty deep into what materials were chosen, the overall design, um, the level of branding. We try to keep it pretty small, as you can tell here. Thank you for watching and have a great day.